Breaking tonight, the Texas Supreme Court has blocked voter expansions that would have allowed people worried about catching COVID-19 to register to vote by mail. Right now, only Texans over 65 and those with disabilities can vote via mail. In a 24 page ruling today, the Supreme Court said the fear of the virus does not constitute a disability. Look for this case to head to the U.S. Supreme Court. And no doubt this ruling intensifies the debate over what elections will look like moving forward. The Secretary of State has suggested that voters may want to consider voting curbside if they have symptoms of COVID-19. Well, 12 News reporter Jordan James spent the day talking to representatives from both parties to hear what they would like to happen. The two parties don't agree on a whole lot, but one thing they are in agreement on is that folks should have the right to vote. What that looks like is still up for debate. As the clock ticks down on another election cycle. To oppress the right to vote is un-American. Voting is on the minds of both Jefferson County Democratic and Republican Party leaders. We want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to take part in the process. For several weeks, state reps have been debating whether folks should have the right to vote by mail due to the coronavirus pandemic. Jefferson County Democratic Party Chair Ava Graves says the answer is simple. In the midst of a pandemic, we have to be flexible. We have to um, honor the rights of all Americans in the midst of a pandemic. Meanwhile, Judy Nichols of Jefferson County Republican Party sees opportunity for voter fraud to take place if folks are able to vote by mail due to COVID-19. It's just so ripe with opportunity for mistakes and fraud and errors. It's my duty to step up and put a stop to that. Wednesday, Texas Supreme Court blocked voter expansions that would have allowed people worried about catching COVID-19 to vote by mail. Those that qualify for mail ballot, we encourage them to do that. Jefferson County Clerk Carolyn Gitry says the county has processed more than 3,500 requests for mail-in ballots and could see that number increase. Uh, just please exercise your right to vote. And we can do it cautiously and we can do it safely if everybody would just comply with the rules that we're trying, the guidelines that we're trying to put in place for them. Jefferson County voters will be required to wear masks at polling locations and practice social distancing. The county has also set a limit on the number of people allowed at each polling location. We don't always do what we're supposed to do, so all we can do is hope for the best. Hope that everybody follows the guidelines that's in place. Early voting for the Texas runoff will begin on June 29th and will last for two weeks. For those folks who choose not to early vote, they can head to the polls on July 14th. Reporting here in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.